Hello and welcome back to spiderworking.com's video blog. Now if you're still struggling to get your head around some of the new features on the Facebook timeline business pages, this video is for you. So I'm going to be showing you three features today. I'm going to be showing you how to pin a post, I'm going to be showing you how to feature a post on your Facebook page and I'm also going to be showing you how you can change the part of the image that displays on your Facebook page when you upload it. Now I don't know if you've noticed that but it only grabs a small part of the image to display on your Facebook page. Of course when you click through you see the whole image and we can change that so I'm going to show you that too. So you need to log into Facebook and if you haven't enabled timeline already you will need to have it in preview mode in order to follow this. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to pin a post and when you pin a post it remains right at the top of your Facebook page. It won't slide down your Facebook page. So this is a great way of showing off a special offer that you might have or if you've got a message that you want to get through to new visitors to the page this will help. And once you've pinned an image it stays pinned for seven days and then it falls back down the news feed. So to pin a page you just click on this little arrow here and choose pin to top and you can tell that it's pinned because you get this uh, orange ribbon appearing on the top right hand side. If you want to unpin it you just click back on the pen and unpin from top. Okay the second thing I want to show you is how to change the part of the image that displays when you post an image to Facebook. So you can see this is an infographic so it's a really long image and they've just grabbed a section that fits into this square here. Now if I click through to that image you'll be able to see it in full size as always. To change the bit that displays here again we click on the pencil at the top of the post and we choose reposition photo and now I can just pick it up and move it around and choose the section that I might want to display and once I'm happy with my choice I click save if I want to go back to the original position I can click default position or if I've changed my mind I can click cancel the final thing I want to show you is how you can feature an image. Now unfortunately a featured image can't be a pinned image and it spans the whole width of your Facebook page. So if for example I wanted to feature my latest blog post here, I simply click on the star and you can see it spans the entire space across my Facebook page. And that's all from me for this week. I'll be back again next week. And as always, don't forget to like us on Facebook because I share lots of hints and tips on using social media for small business there. Until next week, bye.